Novi, Michigan is home to a ton of million dollar neighborhoods, but have you ever wondered where the most expensive neighborhoods to live in Novi are? Well, you're in luck because we're starting now. If you're new to my channel and new to me, thank you so much for watching. My name is Paul and I'm a Metro Detroit real estate agent. I help people all over Metro Detroit buy and sell real estate. So if you like what you see here, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell so that you know when other videos come out. If you're thinking about moving to Novi, Michigan, go ahead and let me know or anywhere in Metro Detroit and I can help or click on any of the links below. It's all there. All right, so let's jump into this list. Coming in at number five on the list is Ashbury Park. So Ashbury Park is located off 11 Mile Road in between Beck and Taft. The street that you're gonna see is Mandalay Circle and it's basically a big circle. You just turn in and you pop out the other side. The houses in Ashbury Park were built in the mid 2000s and are all over about 4,000 square feet. Usually these places sell in the 800 to $900,000 price range, which is a lot, right? That's a ton of money. But to get on my list, the high sale in the neighborhood over the past year was a lot higher than $900,000. The high sale was $1,115,403. That's so specific. That's such a specific number. This one actually reached higher numbers than the neighbors because it was just built in 2017, so it was newer than all of the other houses that were built. If you want to live in Ashbury Park, the taxes there will set you back about $12,000 a year, and the association fee is about 830 bucks a year. If you think that's a lot, we're just getting started. Number four on the list is Mayberry Park Estates. This subdivision is located north of Eight Mile between Gettys and Beck Road. This sub is filled with houses that were built in the late 2000s and usually sell in the 800 to $1 million price range. All sort of depends on the size and the upgrades of the house, like any sub. The high sale in here definitely had upgrades going for it. Combined, the total square footage on this place was over 6,000 square feet. Now that includes the finished lower level. And it was all upgraded, all of it. Main floor, middle floor, basement floor, all of them, all upgraded. To get on my list, this four bed, five bath home on equestrian trail sold for $1,177,000. $100, that, that's also, again, very specific. What's, I don't know what the deal is with the very specific numbers, but I guess that's a thing in million dollar real estate. If the price wasn't enough, the taxes on this house are another $18,000 a year, and the association fee is another $1,600 a year. Combined, that works out to about 1,600 bucks a year just for the association and taxes. Coming in at number three on our list is Tuscany Reserve. This subdivision is located right next to the other one we just listed, and it's another gated community. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but the other one is definitely a gated community, and so is this one. It's just a little bit newer, and it has slightly bigger houses. The total finished square footage on this house was 7,231 square feet and features six bedrooms and eight bathrooms. Eight! That's a lot of bathrooms. I don't know why you need that many bathrooms. Taxes on this house are $24,858 a year and the association is another $2,500 a year. That's nearly $2,300 a month just for your association in Texas. But if you can afford it, I said do it. The high sale that put Tuscany Reserve at number three was $1,575,000. Now that's a nice, you know, that's a nice number that I can deal with. Coming in at number two is Bellagio. That's a fancy name, I like that, Bellagio. This one is located right next to the other two. It's like this triplex of three subdivisions that all have multi-million dollar houses or million dollar plus houses. So they're big houses on big lots. That's what people want. The high sale in this subdivision had five bedrooms and another eight bathrooms. Eight bathrooms again. I don't know, I don't know who does this, but I love it. The square footage on the main floor of this house was 6,200 square feet, but the total square footage on this place with the finished basement was 8,619 square feet. The price on this place was $1,650,000. Taxes on this one were only $21,726, and the association fee was another 3,800 bucks. Not bad, I don't know. I do you pay that much in taxes? And now for the most expensive subdivision to live in Novi, Michigan is Island Lake Shores. So Island Lake is a little lake located in Novi with a little island in it where the 
clubhouse is, but it's not really an island. If you, it's more like a peninsula because there's definitely dirt connecting the island to the mainland. So I don't know, I guess you could still call it an island. So Island Lake has a bunch of different subdivision associations in it, but Island Lake Shores tends to be the most expensive one to live in. The price on the high sale was $1,736,000 but it had 8,920 finished square feet. Now that includes the basement. That's a butt ton of square footage. It has four bedrooms and only seven bathrooms. So it doesn't have eight bathrooms like the other one, but I, I think you'll be fine. Only seven people can go to the bathroom at the same time in that house. The taxes on this one are $22,000 a year, but the association fee is less. It's only about 1,200 bucks a year. That's like a bargain compared to the last two or three. What are you gonna do with all the money you're saving on the association if you buy a place in there? I don't know, but while you think about it, go ahead and click on some of these other videos here and I'll see you there.